Okay, so the machinable wax came. Got a new piece. And it is not what I ordered though. It is six millimeters shorter. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cut this in half, melt it, make a bigger mold, and then cut this out. Which kind of sucks, but well, it is what it is. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna take this old metal bowl. And I took a marker and just went around the top. Uh, you want this to be about <clears throat> about a quarter inch above it. Alright, so now we let this cool for a good five, six hours. And I also filled up a can. Um, I'm going to actually cut that in half to make two of the adapters for the intakes, but here we go, we'll let this cool, and uh, then we start the machining process, but now I turn that block into something I can use, we're about that much higher right at the moment, this will cool and shrink probably about that much down, so one thing a lot of people screw up they spend all this time melting it slowly and then you come to find out oh crap it's shorter than what you started with <laughs> so anyways we got that I got a little extra to be able to do that other part I want so anyways here we go right, so I want to show you something I already did it to the big one but you want to take a piece of wax paper put it over your mold Put a board, a plate, something. And you want to retain the heat. Now this stuff is food grade plastic and just paraffin. So, I mean, it's safe. You're not going to die or anything crazy from it. Um, you sure as heck don't want to burn and it'll smell bad. But um, you want to heat it about 180 degrees to get it melting. And keep it at like 190-ish. So you're going to need a thermometer. but And you let it slow melt. Until you get it like syrup. And that's when it's ready to pour and all that. If it's steaming, smoking, sputtering. It's way too hot. So you want it a nice even slow melt. But this is one of the main reasons people's castings don't work. <laughs> If you don't put something over this to retain the heat a little while the mold and all that cools and it shrinks it actually creates some weird crap inside the wax and that's usually what screws up the casting so for machining purposes it doesn't matter casting it does so I just FYI put a piece of wax paper a piece of wood a plate something over your mold and let it cool slow. Don't rapidly cool these either. Woo, camera blurry. Anyways, all right, peace. Yeah, so I wanted to show you just this. This is after about three hours of cooling. You can see how much it's shrinking already. But uh, I'm gonna put my plate back over it with the uh, wax paper and just let it continue cooling. It is actually still pretty warm, even three hours later. So, takes a good five hours to do this right. Alright. Alright, so now you can really see it shrinking. We're about four and a half hours into it cooling. So, we got about a uh, one-eighth gap all the way around it now. So, we'll let this fully cool before we try and remove it. Here is the can. This is cool. And uh, it comes right out. It shrinks about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So... But, yeah, the detail of this is amazing. <laughs> so, I can definitely see why people sculpt with this as well as cast. But, just FYI, that's the can. And it's absolutely amazing detail. Alright, so we'll let this cool about another half hour, 45 minutes, and it should pop out. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you something here. This is five and a half hours afterwards.
Jesus. A little hotter than I thought it was. <laughs> Wow, we're still going. Not even close to room temperature yet. So we're at about 118 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh shoot, it's still going. About 119, 118 degrees still. This is five and a half hours. I got about a quarter inch above this left over. I actually was about a half inch taller than this part. So you lose about 7% of the outside and top and bottom height. So you got to keep that into account when you're uh, dealing with this stuff. So this cooled about five hours now. It shouldn't shrink anymore. But uh yeah, I left a little bit of height like that because I got a machine, a complete flat area, which I'll actually probably do the other side. And then I'll cut the part and then machine the other side of the part before we get to the casting part. But yeah, this got edited. There's no uh, bolt hole thing down there now. These are thicker all the way around. I believe the hole is smaller in this and then deleted these for the casting cut out. So this will be oh let me think 43 millimeters thick by the time I'm doing about that thickness. So we should be good to go but yeah I'll cut this flat. We'll get this milled. I'm waiting for a quarter inch um, mill that's just made for doing wax so that should be here today i hope and we'll get this going then we'll cast it and see what we got i just show you guys how i'm doing this i got a piece of plywood clamp there clamp there and one back there just basically two deck screws boom holds it down good to go gonna machine this flat cut the part flip it over machine that flat and then we'll be good to go with a part to cast.